just came. I remember we were, as peace school, we were touring uh, the state. It was Foster Zeno. I don't know if you know Foster Zeno. I know Foster Zeno, yeah. Foster Zeno was the one that called and said, listen, Peter, you guys need to come through for OJB. Even if he hasn't produced anything for you guys, you know, I mean, I barely know him that much. Mm. But I, will, I won't lie to you. Uh, at the middle of the tour, we had two weeks break. And I was the one that spoke to my brothers. I said, listen, guys, let's go. Let's go do something for this guy. It's okay, cool. We should, I just said, no, I, we should go there. <laughs> Going there, we encourage people. Then my brothers asked, oh, how much is... Uh, the remaining amount. And I said, okay, listen, I heard it's about seven million. He said, are we going to raise all? I said, yeah, we can. But there's a way, it's not about the surgery. After the surgery, he needs maintenance. He needs people to, you know. I said, okay, cool. We, we flew all the way. We left Atlanta and came back to Nigeria. That very day, we arrived about... Um, at about 4.30. From there, we drove all the way. Luckily, of course, the, the, the airport is, at, uh, is on the mainland. We drove all the way to Foster Zeno's office. He drove us to OJB. He didn't even tell OJB we were coming until we showed up. I could see what the guy was going through. And uh, there and there, we asked how much. They said that it remained about maybe five point something. I remember very, very We gave a check of five million. But not that we have too much. We don't have much. You know? And we, we did that just to clear our conscience. Because, of course, it's our colleagues. But may so rest in peace. He died right after then and all that, blah, blah. But I'm, it's towards that period, I can tell you, are be multiple times I will see some of our colleagues, so-called um, legends, and you know, soliciting for funds and all that. It became worrisome to me. And right from the days of peace, I've always wanted to do things away being a musician. I read business admin in school. During the peace period, I remember there was a time when we were uh, there was supposed to be a Peace Square cartoon called The Alingos. It was my own personal project. From there, I was, I was building a beverage factory, of course. It was actually out there that I was building a factory, but, but nobody knew what actually happened. Uh, on the debate of uh, land issue, land dispute, I lost the kids in court and they brought the factory down. Nobody knew about it. At the same time, I was still doing dance with Peter. Right? Yeah. The same time, I was doing my real estate boy here at Buja and in Atlanta. All of that tells you, not because of I had, we, were, we, we had money. Don't get me wrong. But the truth is, how many of us have sustained this industry for 20 years? Stop. So it, very, was, very it was becoming worrisome to me. So... Look at it in terms of Forbes, Forbes magazine. Mm. Obi, for the past 10 years, you hear top richest rappers, right? Yeah. Or top richest musicians in America. Obi, the top five don't have a song on air for mm. the past five years. For example, you see that for the past 10 years, that's been Jay-Z, 50 Cent, Puff Daddy, Dr. Dre, and Kanye West. Why? When was the last time they released the song? How come they are topping, topping Forbes? Mm. What does that tell you? That they've, people know them already. I mean, this generation were actually my own kind of generation where we had no social media and all this thing and blah, blah, blah. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So people now, even now, people quantify your followers as... They quantify how many followers you have to be as a, relevant to, to you, yeah, to use that as a, how successful you are. You, you it's are. a pure lie. Mm. For example, you're 50 cent, he owns his drink, the vodka, the champagne, real estate that me have seen several times, both in Atlanta. Energy drink, energy drink that Coca Cola bought 
some percentage of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. He owns a, a, a team of boxers. I don't know if you know, you can bear yeah. me witness. Yeah. He, he's into, he owns a production team house who does the power, mm. the whole series. Yeah. And all that. He, he still owns his clothing line, the Gini clothing line, and his record label. That's 50 cent. Um, Puff Daddy, the same thing. The drink, the clothing line, Sean John, for the drink is Ciroc, which he owns, I think, about 15%. Mm. Right? Uh, he, Sean John, he owns, now he owns radio and TV, The Vault. Right? Mm. And he still runs Bad Boy. And he's into real estate. Not Jay-Z. Kanye West. In fact, the worst part of it is actually Dr. Dre. The last time he released this song was probably like about 20 years ago. But look at what they are doing. Franchise. Yeah. They have products out there. You understand? So it's becoming alarming to me. I just say, you know what? Mm. So as, I, I mean, as, as someone who loves doing business, I still do my music. I still do my tours. But I establish myself because there was something Akon told me some years back. I said, listen, the fans love you, don't, we understood, but People that make you can break you. Time Definitely. will come, they will lose interest. The new ones mm. are coming up. Definitely. When the new ones start coming up, you start, you, I mean, you can try and maintain, you know, that. So for me, not, not, I asked somebody just come and say, because now I'll be Igbo man. No, not just Igbo man. People with they see, not believe Igbo people, they catch. <laughs> and I, I started Words. advising some of my colleagues. Yeah, I Words. started advising some Words. of my colleagues some years back. So that time, it, uh, we came to our old house, the square view. I told him the same thing. I said, no matter how you think, it's not, it's not forever. But for me, I want to maintain this lifestyle. You know, Obi, look at me. I mean, I, lo I love going for my shows. Once in a while, how long is the trip? We have to fly to Turkey. Turkey doesn't say, no, 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 no. Get me a PJ and I move. I need to sustain that life, right? I still fly my PJ. I still buy good cars. I still live life. But how do you expect me to sustain it in just music alone? When there are other ones coming up. So we just have to be smart. Um, we just have to tell ourselves the truth. You don't want to find yourself in a situation whereby you just woke up one morning and, uh, and pff, you're no more in the limelight and all that. So I do everything to maintain that lifestyle. Yeah. So, um, so P Square became the musical act that opened doors to large performance fees for young African artists. Tell us 100%. how you guys were. Yeah. Tell you guys how. Tell us how you guys were able to command such fees. Because there was a time if you don't have your money full, you understand. I remember the time you guys were collecting $200,000 per show, mm. you know, mm. and it's not like now, right? So tell us how you guys were able to position yourself to demand such fee, because you need to position yourself properly before someone can pay you that amount of money. You know, remember, people are paying you for this because they need to see the worth of what the performance is like. And I've been a one person who doesn't joke with my performance. I go to a club shows. I go to a big arena. I go to stadium shows. It's still the same energy, the same, you know, that I give. I give my 100. I don't say, ah, because this is a, a kind of uh, uh, event. But that, I don't want to do too much. I see people do that. I, I, we, I'm used to, we're used to this word then. Um, um, please, uh, we're doing this show. It's just a little capacity. We just want you to do one or two songs. I'm like, you're not serious. You, you don't pay me by the song. As long as I take my time and put on my bag and I find myself in your country, you have to pay mm. me. I don't want to... I mean, I mean even the, uh, if you remember like 11, 12, 13 years ago, he's ordered to bring Buster Rhyme to, to Nigeria. Mm. I remember we saw the contract and Buster Ryan was saying from performing five songs upward, it's so amount. I was like, really? Ah, let's people get time on. How would I fly all the way? I mean, I'm always the kind of person that goes there and I want to give the fans 100% performance. Well, why would I, you know? 
So, so, so for me, it's not, uh, uh, it's not for, it's not for that. But for me, how we were able to command those fees was we, we had a strategy and said, listen, we're going to give this pro. We started the semi live, live, but people do live band, but nobody started semi live band. We call it semi live band, whereby the mix you have as your song, yeah, the mix you had as your song is different from the one you perform on stage, like a loop, right? Yes. I started that stuff. I was one that initiated go with Papi J because someone introduced me. One said, ah, we should have a live band. But the problem is that anytime I see a Nigerian performing live band, I feel the, the energy, the struggle trying to, you know, play it exactly the way it sounds mm. on, the, on the EP or the album itself. Yeah. So I remember Papi J came to the house. Someone introduced me, uh, Melvin, my friend, introduced me to Papi J and... Uh, so I, I, I was coming back from the state and I went to this store called the Guitar Center in Atlanta. Yeah. So music was playing. So the drummer was playing a little drum on it. I'm like, what? This is nice, even like this on stage. So there and there, I spoke to my brothers. Then I bought, um, I bought the electric drum. I came back with it. Papi J hooked it up. Shout out to Papi J, by the way. He hooked it up. I started playing this girl's song. He started, you know, he was playing it. Hmm. And I called my brother. I said, look at this. He said, it sounds okay, but the drum is overshadowed. And I said, no problem. I brought in uh, a bassist. So we went, there was an event Eddie Lawani brought for us. And we went there to perform. Luckily enough, Akon was performing the same event. Man, I was so disappointed that night because... We actually performed after Akon. So we are backstage. When every other artist performed, we already calculated, okay, this is how the output everywhere is. When Akon entered the stage, bro, it was as if our songs were played inside a box. You know? Mm. So when we finished, so of course, DJ ben, Benny is uh, Akon's DJ, is my friend. Mm. So luckily enough, I told him I'm, com I'm coming to sing. So we went to perform. You know? I mean, people were jubilating, enjoying our performance. But me, the sound I heard, the output that Acom had used, yeah. had, was totally different. So as soon as I finished, I now went to meet the guy. He now told me what I want to get. So I now told my brothers and went there. So we now, we took no shows for like a month plus. Set up the band. We house with the band. So we started giving people, even if you don't pay us money for the live band, what we do is to perform and give our whole one hundred percent. They will put it out there on YouTube. Mm. So people, people were were now seeing a bigger international act, but they don't believe there were any Nigerians who do that. So I think it was that Guinness, Guinness. How many years that they did? It was uh, was that Guinness uh, this thing. Remember that Guinness uh, event that. Uh, they refused Peace and uh, Two Face to perform uh, on stage. That Peace Square came through for him. I don't know if you remember. Uh, yeah, I can remember Guinness. The, Guinness nine, something nine, fifty. Nineteen fifty yeah. something. Yeah, I remember something. And guess what? So we were backstage. Every other artist was performing. In this ah, uh, the world is waiting for. Us. I think Shapo was there. As soon as they introduced us, my brother, we just came out with the Danger album, which was about. Um, Few two weeks before then, yeah, we started that song. Then the, the drama, yeah. <laughs> our output, even everybody remember more heat and people like where we wanna get this sound from. So that is we we've done our homework. As soon as the world, because I think about they said about fifty something countries where we are live watching it. Fifty two. As soon as we finished performing, bro, the booking started coming. So people were like, oh my God. Mm. We are, that was why we were mad when they cut us short. They told us we were going to perform for 20 minutes. At about 15 minutes, they were cutting us off. That was why we were mad because the world were actually watching this performance. So then right after then, the booking started coming. They would mm. tell you, oh, listen, we're, we're, we're supposed to come. With, we're supposed to invite this international about three people. We, we prefer you people. You know, that was it. You know, we go to shows. I'm telling you, even at the point we, we go to show some um, people from the Western world and other peace square were the ones closing the shows yeah. because of the job 
you know, we've, we've uh, prepared ourselves to, you know, and it was amazing. And that was wow. how we, we started co uh, commanding those uh, fees. So some people would think that, boom, you just woke up one morning and oh. people said, no. So you actually went back, put in work. You didn't take bookings for one month for you to be able to command such fees. All right. So let's talk about Zoom Lifestyle. Walk mm -hmm. us through this brand and its mission and where things are right now. You know, the truth is it's been like, um, I've been longing to Sorry, a, a call. A call came in. Sorry. Yeah. So, um, it's, um, Zoom is something I've always like wanted to. I've been working on for years. Like when I mean years, 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 years. And uh, I, I, I was looking forward to 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 see how I can set up something and somehow people can benefit. I can impact. You know, do a lot of free stuff for people. And I created it. But like I said before, then there's been other things that I do. People don't just see because they're seeing Zoom, they feel it just, you know, I actually have, a, I would say, a merchandise or probably uh, uh, a product out there that I own 50% that people don't even know that I'm the one that, you know, that owns it, you know. Oh. So, um, uh, me, uh, like I said to people, is a lottery. Just like the way you play betting and, and uh, or I wish we had have a betting very soon, like I told you that that time. Yeah. Um, uh, it's, it's something that you know, like it's very, it's, it's as cheap as 500, and you can win half a million there every month. Uh, five, uh, that's for five uh, individual, but now because of people who really I need now, you know, I've seen people, um, who be at the moment, people know they talk of house rent, school fees, people are talking about feeding. Mm. So I called up my team, I said, Listen. We, we, this money need to reach out to a lot of people. Um, what what we, we should do is instead of giving two point five, that's five hundred thousand to five individuals every month. Let's do two two hundred. So we made it four million. So every weekend, every Saturday, uh, five individuals goes on win uh, two hundred thousand each. So instead of two point five, so we expanded it to give more people. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's a that's a although, very lovely. Although it was, it was it was it was it took me years because to get the license was hell, but we thank God. But that's a very lovely platform. Uh, I hope to play. I like the competition you did where you say um, uh, shoplifting. Was it shoplifting? You called it. Okay, it's called it's called Zoom Radar. Zoom Radar, so yeah. Apparently, so so yes, Zoom, Zoom, Zoom Radar was Zoom Radar was an idea where we wanted. It's, it's called the, the, the product is called. Um, uh, zoom up your life, like uh, Zoom lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. So what we do is uh, two individual wins middle, every middle of the week. But we shot the first edition. The truth that we can't continue because okay. we don't have the shop right to read. Yeah. Right? So what we, what we did was if you, two individuals that won, if you will fly both of you, whatever you are, it can be in Kenya. It can be anywhere in Africa. It can be anywhere in the world. We'll bring, we'll fly you in, pick you up with the security with an SUV, give you the lifestyle. You arrive a day before, put you in a hotel, you do spa. And towards evening, I come, I surprise the, the, the guests, uh, the winners, and, um, you know, they have dinner with me. The next day, they work up, they get ready, they go to ShopRite to survey ShopRite. And they go to sh survey the whole uh, uh, ShopRite. And, um, and they have one minute to pick whatever they want. So apparently there was a guy and a girl. The guy, oh my God. That guy now, the guy has sense. I mean, we, we give you like 10 minutes to survey the whole shop. 10 minutes, go around. Survey what to what and what to go and pick. You know, and um, people say, ah, oh, but there's no phone, there's no laptop, there's no, but we, we put them there. They were there. We the Zoom bought these things and put them there, you know? And the, the guy who won, my brother, he got two, tele, two TVs and uh, one laptop. He got like four microwaves. 
he got like uh uh this a uh, modern um, table fan like another four but I, when it comes to kitchen appliances the guy i don't know everything he picked was almost like 750,000 naira in one minute and the good thing is that you don't come alone let me tell you do you come with a friend or a family member anybody who fly you in what the person does for you is to be pushing the the trolley for you the, the trolley or the cart for you there you be so it's not like you are dragging and you are no now you're giving me you next one i'm coming <laughs> for it no worry so I'll let me you. so let me tell you maybe that's the guy but the girl yeah. was thinking she was smart so we we'll go to the club. Ubi, we'll, we'll how much the bottle of Dom Perrier? Uh, maybe one, uh, 150, 200. Yeah, but in, in the, but in, 200, the that, in, in the club, okay. Yeah. But outside is about 120, like, right? Look at, yeah, in the club is 200. Girl, outside, what, what like 150 girl, or something. This is what the, what the girl did, huh? So the girl, when they give her her countdown, first place she went to was Dom Perrier. Guess what she did? She just did the first slide. I think she took like five, three fell on the floor. And, ah. She went to take another set. Three fell on the floor again. Ah. Hey! But guess what? She went, she got TV. Uh, she got two phones. Uh, she got two phones. Uh, I think they were techno phone. and One techno, one Samsung phone. She got her other stuff. But she tried she, uh, her own stuff. Uh, she got only one TV. But her own store were about not up to the guy, like about six eighty. But she would have gotten more, but because she broke. By the time we are paying the bill, we are paying almost a million because she broke about six bottles of uh, of Dom Perignon. Ah. So, but the good thing is, let, let's just say you you won and you're from Kenya or Tanzania or Ghana. Guess what will happen? Mm. You mustn't fly with those things. What shop price to do? They give you a voucher of the same. Uh, things you picked. Yeah, they so when you get Ghana, the, Ghana, that's a smart idea. idea. All right, Peter, that's a smart idea. That's <laughs> a very smart idea. So yeah, I mean, it's, very... it's, 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 I can't, I can't wait. And um, we're going like we're going, we're going on TV. Zoom is actually going on TV, and the Zoom radar is um, is going to be amazing because it's a show to look out for. And guess what? See the crowd. So the crowd when you are parking, the crowd will be, you know, they'll be saying, go, go, go. Like no, it's, it, I, 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 Ubi, I can't wait for this to hit on. You see, TV. We, we, what you just said to me, I have an idea. I'll call you after. The, I'll call you after the show. I'll tell you what it is. I just okay. remember something that you, you know. <laughs> I just remember you, something that. But you know, me and you have been longing to do business since. Huh? Don't worry, don't worry. I'm talking about remember. far back as three and a half years ago. I know, I know. Well, we met, well, I think it was at uh, uh, your office. We were talking, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I told you, we spoke a lot, though. See, Peter, yeah, but, but, I say after this, I'm going to call you. I just something just hit my head right now. Okay, I can't I'll call you. I'll call you. <laughs> so let's go to our next question. So I let's talk about mean. social media, young artists. You had no Instagram during your emergence and no access to display flashy images. What's your mm. advice on faking it till you make it? Because you know there are a lot of you know when you when P Square started, there was no Instagram. You know, um, now uh, there's please, Instagram. Please, I love, I love this. I love this topic. Yes, sir. Fake it till you make it. When you we it. started. Yeah. When we started. But before, before I answer your question, but let me break it down. How I always tell people, stop wasting your time. Maybe you're trying to troll at me or trying to say negative. When I started 22 years ago, there was no Twitter. There was no Instagram. There was no Snapchat. But I'm telling you that if I go and check when, when we released a song like Do Me, which is about how many years ago? Or even Say Your Love or Busy Body as about mm. almost how many, 19, 20 years ago. I realized that people were actually criticizing this song, but they were hit. Mm. So word. for me, why would I... Word, why word, I word. Think, why would I... I don't know where the last, you know, people, so sometimes they'll come out with, ah, people are saying, I bet me didn't talk. That is not my generation. Leave me alone. It's mm. not, never been my generation. You know, I don't want that to, you know, like you say, fake it or make it. Let me be honest with you. When we started up, there was no, this thing. And we, we, I remember even we ourselves, we were not even buying cars. Let me tell you, we were not. We'll be. I will tell you that your, 
your uh, I would say former artist, which is Inyanya. Yeah. I remember when I saw on TV Inyanya's compound, he did a form selfie like that. I saw a Range Rover, a this, a this. He had like about half to six cars parked in his compound. That was when we were busy building Squareville. Right? Mm. And as of that moment, Ubi, me, myself, I don't have my own personal car. We share cars. We had only Homer, Jeep, the Homer Jeep. That back to Matt always stroke us. I said the Homer Jeep must have had an ATM machine inside. Um, we had uh, a, a, an SUV Sequoia and a tour bus. Those are the only things we have. You understand what I'm saying? So I never had my, we never had, the only time I had my first official car was when we moved to Squareville. We call that Squareville a security. Like, because remember, we used to have landlord problem everywhere now. It was yeah. in the media now. Yeah. Landlord, this, blah, 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 blah. You know? So, for me, trying to fake it now, uh, hope you get back up for him. Because if you don't get back up, he will hit you soon. Mm. I mean, yeah. You know? It's like me, I don't, let's just say I don't own this house now. Now come on and say, ah, let me get that. <laughs> no problem. You think the money will come forever. By the time when you know the, uh, by the time the mon money stops coming, maybe you probably maybe you are probably renting the house because I'm sure a house like this you want to rent it will be you know it's about fifteen to twenty m a year. Yeah, yeah. So the mm -hmm. house like yours, yeah, very expensive. Cool. Now, if you want to do that and it's not yours and you're claiming and you're claiming it's yours, let me tell you what will happen. You got to pay it. You go. You will continue paying even if you decide. On your own to say, okay, um, I don't, I don't, I don't want this house anymore. The next one you will get has to be finer than this one, hmm. because you faked it. All right. Wow. So just make sure you have a backup if you if you must. I mean, it's everywhere. Hype is good. Trust me, because at the end of the day, you'll be imagine. You, I'm, the, I'm as I am. I'm doing this music, and you see me on top of Okada. Hmm. You know yeah. who. Uh, who will pay me those millions while they take part from? Who will even pay me when they so notice what, that I don't have a good car? So, what I'm basically trying to say is hype is good, but keep it at the conduit of what you are making. Cut, cut, cut. Let me give you an example. Yeah, yeah, keep it that way. Cut your yeah. cut according to your size. The people have, have so much. You know, like, let me give you an example. I'm the type that I go to the, I go to the club. I don't drink champagne. I'm sorry. Not because, I know. and you know me. Now. I guess what? I go to VIP. In fact, let me know. Some, some club owners, they don't even. Some club owners don't even, they know they feel my vibe. You know why? When I enter, all I'll just tell them, give me my Hennessy Coke and Ice. And they feel, oh no, this VIP, na 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 XO. See, I have a bottle of XO here that they only made about 50 of them. I'm, one of them is in my house. But the truth is that I don't drink XO. It's not good for me in the studio. But VSOP is, okay, mild. Or maybe VS. But sometimes they'll say, no problem. Give me the VS. I'll pay the extra amount of it. I don't care, but I'm not going to drink this. Maybe the people I'm with might want, want to drink the champagne, no, but, but not me. I can't. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. I, don't, I won't go to the club and stuff. Raisin, you know, look at what Cardi B did. She came and gave her, she just said, hey, give me a bottle of beer, uh, Guinness. And that was it. She, at, at the end of the day, she had, I mean, I, I yeah, play with her a lot. I mean, at the end of the day, just go there and have fun. It's not yeah. about how much you spend or... You know, they stop music. They're trying to bring the drink for you. Everybody was screaming, hey, they stop music. Me, I did. I, 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 that thing pisses me off sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. It's club owners, one of them vex, but they tell them that. One of the reasons, no. <laughs> so let's talk about local content. After a successful mm. uh, music career, why do you think we are still behind with producing cinematic uh, music videos locally in Nigeria? I know Not you, you guys video, shot even, even you, movies, yeah. You guys shot mm -hmm. a lot of your, your videos in South Africa, right? We started it. You started it, yeah. Started you, you started shooting your videos in South Africa. Why do you think we're, we're still, you know, to shoot those kind of videos that you would like and say, wow, this is a video? You know, a um, few years back when we still had uh, China O, I don't know if you remember, China O. China O was one of the where people shook it up before MTV and Co came. And if you watch then, China O were, 
anytime they are playing South African videos. We have the song, but we don't have the videos, right? They have, they don't even have the song 100%, but they have that video. Their video is like top notch. So one day, I look at it, I was like, okay, guys, let's look at these guys. Their videos are top notch. I mean, during that period, they, anytime they do a word and blah, blah, they are, the old, they are the ones that will always win the best video categories. Mm. Right? And these people, they have the equipment, but they are not even using it that much. I'm telling you, even till today, if you watch a South African movie and a Nigerian movie, you can tell. Mm. Like I was watching Queen or Sono recently on Netflix. I don't know if you see, guys, look at it. Yes. Watch it. It's international standard. I don't, you won't even believe it's Africa. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So these people, they have the equipment. We don't. Even right now that we have it, but there's something wrong about Nigeria weather. I don't know. Yeah. Even my phone will be, you, you know, the, if you take a picture with your phone abroad, you oh. take a picture here in Nigeria, the it's qualities just, are different. Yeah. Really, really, I really don't different. know where this thing is coming from. I'm being honest. So we, we, we so far so good. That's why most of us, me, I still shoot in Nigeria, but I still shoot outside. I mix both of them. Mm. Once it's a song that needs that Niger flavor dance, I'll take it, I'll bring it here. Once it's something I need, I'll, I'll take it out. And again, the problem we actually have sometimes shooting in Nigeria is power, um, the environment. Um, you go, sometimes you want to shoot on the street, but the people will not allow you. They will block the road. Um, or the most settle so the last time we KC come here and I have a million naira and give us so, you know Mr. P you ah, you go give us two million for where? You know what I'm saying? So those are things. So for me I would say we local content in terms of satisfying Nigeria, mm. Africa, we've done that. But have we satisfied uh, the rest of the world? Not hundred percent. Not really, really 100%. But thank God today, you, you mustn't do overkilling video now for your music to sell. That's yeah. a good thing now. Yeah. Like if you watch uh, Memories by Maroon 5, one steady camera. He was singing. You know, he was just doing his thing. So, for sure, the guy knows what he's doing. He just, if, for me, if I would do that kind of video, I don't think I would spend up to $1,000. That's 350K. Yeah. You know? All right. So my next question. Uh, so balancing your career as an artist, businessman, and a family life, educate a young, any young single artist listening with how to manage life pressures and upholding domestic obligations. You know, once you are born in this world and you come out, it's, you're already facing challenges. It's like a war, right? Yeah. Once you come out of the, once you're out of this world, the day you start knowing that, man, you exist. Because I'm sure when you're one, two, three, you don't know you really exist. But once yeah. you're 10, 11, 12, so knowing the fact that you start exist, it's more like war. You start facing challenges. Mm. The first thing you need to ask yourself is, what am I here for? Should I come to this world and pay bills and just die? You want to start yeah. thinking, you want to, like oh, when you start yes. having, when you, when, you start, when you start having, for example, when you start having families, yeah. you stop, you know that those Gucci, yeah, babe, babe, you know what, can you just take, take, take the, you can just stay there for now. I'm coming. Sorry, then. Sorry, I have to go with my kids and swim, but let me finish. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say, you, you start, you start, when you start having kids, you start those Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, shoes, blah, blah, you cut them short. Yeah. Because there's what? You're, there's more responsibilities. Yeah. You know, you start paying school fees, tens of thousands of dollars. You start buying clothes. And remember, buying clothes for kids, Ubi, you know what I mean? Mm. If you buy now, in three months time, you know, go size them again. Yeah, you have to buy another one. Okay. I know. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. and, you know, so, so much of that, if you're the type that, you know, living some, you have to cut some things down because it's no more about you. 
right? It's not yeah. more about you. You know, I, 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 I remember like those years back when I said, ah, let me establish something. I was this something with certain amount. How much will I be making every month? They say, okay, for a start, see, they make 300K, 400K, ah, I lie, you know what I mean? I my means, but I'm telling you the truth. I don't, I no longer think that way. The way I think, oh, 250, 300K. That 300K can turn out a few years' time to be 300,000. Nara. Hmm. Or 300 million. I'm just giving you an example, you know. So, mm. so try to manage uh, as a businessman, entertainer, and a musician. First thing you should ask yourself, which is more important? It's the bills, your family. They come first in whatever you do. Like I said, I love, I'm not, a, I'm not too crazy about designers and all that, blah, blah. I have my clothing line coming out, but I'm not crazy about, uh, I, I have to wear this particular, for you to recognize me, I have to wear this, you know, wear this, you know, but I'm telling you, but I can wear anything, maybe probably my wristwatch, then you should see it in the apple. Mm. Maybe one of the, you know, but at the end of the day, let us see those things on my wife, not me. May she wear a, you know, we Igbos know the joke when it comes to that. If mm -hmm. you want to know how rich I did, you go see her for my wife, not before me. Yeah. You understand? We Igbos are, that is our entitlement. So we know the same. You understand? So that's exactly how me I say. So for me, to manage that, first thing is your family. Because the last thing you want to do, do let me, if you go, if you're going through bad, uh, uh, bad, uh, if you go to a sudden um, bad uh, moment with your music, you can manage it. If you're going mm -hmm. bad moment with your business, you can manage it. The only worst one is your family when you can't afford tough. some things. Tough. My brother, he, 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 forget it, you are done. Very my brother, tough. Me, I, did, I did double my hustle. There's this word they say, never be ashamed of your hustle because when you go broke, nobody will feed you. Mm. It's 100%. I believe in that word till today. That's why I don't joke. Wow. Because you look at me, my brother, there are many domestic stuff where I get. Come on. You don't look at me now. I'm like, how many nannies? How many security? How many cook? How many cleaner? You know, look at that. And my house is big. Where I well maintain I'm from. Let's put in salary. So, how am I supposed to look after them? I tell you, you how it. many shows do, do we do in a month? Look, even if they do every weekend, they think it's easy. It's still not easy. You know, I'm, I know how much I pay for my lights here every, every week. I buy a car like this, boom, it's just one out. You know, I'm telling him. So, well, so one has to find a way, like I said, find a way to balance it. It's not about your music. It's not about your business. It's about your family. Yeah. That one right. is very, very worrisome, 100%. So I know you, you have to go, go back uh, to go and make sure you do your family duties. But uh, yeah, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have two more. Okay. Um, I have three Go questions, ahead. and then we play a game. Um, okay. So the Nigerian respect, has there been an instance where, as a large international art, you and your team were denied visas? And how did you address it? Uh, well, we're, we were denied visa, our first MTV Europe Music Awards hmm. in Abuja, Myself, Paul, Jude, uh, Ayo Anima Shawa and his brother, the photographer, what's his name again? Shola. Uh, Shola. Uh, but God has your reason. And it's more like a testimony. We got to Abuja on, on Monday. The award was... The call came in. So we, um, we, uh, we travel to Abuja to get a Cop Copenhagen, right? Copenhagen, that's Denmark. Yeah, right? Denmark, yeah. To get, yeah, the, to get the visa. The, 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 the embassy was in Abuja. That's the same award. The, the award we went to was the one freshly ground one. 
We do, we do, we do yeah. 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 So if I remember, so we got to Abuja. I won't lie to you. They denied us that very on Tuesday. We were denied. We got to Abuja on Monday. No, they denied us on Monday. We took the first flight. They denied us. Our mind was to go, submit passport, then they'll tell us to come back as usual. Few days time, then maybe one person will remain in Abuja. But all of us had our return tickets. All of us had our return tickets. But we actually went with one person who was not traveling with us to say this person will collect it and bring it. But we need to come back to Lagos. Ubi, it was a Sosoliso flight that crashed. I remember the oh. same ticket we had was the same plane registration number. But when we got there, they didn't give us. When us, they told us to reapply that day. We stayed over. We were in Abuja and the plane crashed. Wow. So if it's not me to say, oh my God, um, I felt really bad. Mm -mm. They say God works in wondrous ways and this was, that was one of them. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. So we've been denied visa many times. Don't get me wrong. With your what? big name, go to American Embassy and say they must give you visa. Nobody will give you. It did not, I've been to the, the last time I went to American visa, <laughs> I was shocked. Normally, of course, we had normal this VIP treatment. This time, they say no VIP. My brother, Q. What's part? Say people they look you like ah, not be not be Mister P. B. D. S. My brother, you know even get you know if you, only only me they you know if you, they say they pretend maybe don't your phone you know get a phone you are just like that you have no choice. Oh. I'm telling you, <laughs> I know how yeah. that queue that yeah. queue and how annoying they you get a queue like this they queue like they queue like nobody goes, nobody send you know I was there for an hour plus, but you know. Oh. But, like I said, we're, we're humans sometimes, yeah. Yeah. So let's, uh, so you've been to so many tours. I'm sure mm. you have met Nigerians abroad and they warm up to you. Has there been a time where a family invited you into their home and gave you a treat when you, like, how, oh, how often does that happen? Like, time. you travel abroad for a show all and then... All the time. All the time. I think, first of all, when I travel abroad, I, I need to feel secured. Could be in Kenya, it could be sometimes um the Nigerian ambassador, so you know, there yeah. they invite you, blah blah. Because also you need to feel secured. We've yeah. had even we've been doing that even the Orange Peace Square. Hmm. Nigerian ambassador to Kenya, and they will invite us, first of all, just to give us that security that we're safe in that country. Let me be honest with you, Ubi. Sometimes we've been in a country and war started. I'm not gonna lie to you. During the taking up the one that took off uh, is it Pagbo? Of uh, Ivory Coast. Yeah, um, Babu, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so, Babu. We're in that country when it started. I'm not going to lie to you. But guess what? The Nigerian ambassador was the one that, you know, we went to that place and luckily enough got a private jet to find ourselves back in Nigeria. You understand? Mm -hmm. But I'm just telling you, Sometimes I feel safe. It could be in the United States. I mean, I post most videos of that all the time. Mm -hmm. When I go to a particular country, a particular family invite me, I go there. First of all, I just need to feel secure. You know, so because these are Nigerians. These are, you know, sometimes the ambassador will invite us to the office from there. We'll have dinner at the house. I mean, just feel, feel, feel more like home. And the good thing is the way they built, the ambassadors build their house. They build it in Nigeria way. I don't know if you understand. Mm, yeah. give it that Nigeria, you know, you feel, yeah. touch. Yeah, so you feel, you feel more at home. All right. Last question, then we'll play a game. Okay, take I us, got you. Um. Take us back into the, uh, the, the, the struggle days because an 18-year-old is watching you and may not know that what it took becoming, it may not know what it took becoming Mr. P. You have taught all 36 mm. states in Nigeria. What city... Have you never been to? Like, have you taught all 36 states in Nigeria? And what city have you never been to? Only place I haven't been to is Zamfara. Hmm. I think I've actually been everywhere. Because first of all, when our career started, we started performing in the north. Because we grew up in the north. Yeah. It's Sokoto, Yobe, Katsina, Maiduguri. You understand? Yeah. Those far, far, you know, that's where we all started. You know? And... Uh, 
if an interior old is watching, thinking it, it came easy, you're a bloody liar. Even if you're 25, you're a bloody liar. This house I'm living took us seven and a half, took me seven and a half years to build. Mm. Seven and a half years. Normally, it wouldn't have taken eight months or a year. But it took me seven and a half years because I was patient enough. You know, people think, it's a, it, it, someone would think, ah, they, they, they get too, it, it get too much money for bank before I build this house. No. It's, it's planning. It's planning. You just sit down and say, listen, you bought yourself a land, you start putting money little bit. Oh, today I put one million, chill. You buy 20 bags of cement, you chill. You continue doing that, but today is my house. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Mm. So it's not mm. like I must get all the money now. I don't know if you understand. I yeah. don't like you must have all the money now. Mm. It's step by step. Oh, money don't finish you, chill. When you make a game, you bring all the workers and, and you continue. And that's how it works. So it, 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 someone who is watching that feel like, oh, man, these guys, let me tell you, it was never easy. So people, I, I've always heard this, Ubi. I hear, man, when I grow up, I want to be like you. Can you handle mm. what I've handled? Can you handle it? The criticism, the, the hate, the, 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 even the love. Let me yeah. include the love because sometimes yeah. you get away people who love you, go begin misbehave. Let's be honest. Yeah. You know? So, can you handle those up and pressures? Can you handle them? Forget about what you see. You understand? Forget about what you see. Like, I used to remember when um, they would say, Ah, Peter, man. I, 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 you guys are enjoying blah blah blah. They are like, hmm. Can I tell you something, Ubi? Do you know that somehow five percent to four percent of not just me, most of our entertainers, would they for air they fly? Do you know that, Ubi? Mm -hmm. But they say would they enjoy? Mm -hmm. What about our lives? What if it happen? We get mm -hmm. children, on. we mm -hmm. get family. So I see, I've seen, I don't want to, you know, I've seen relations calling me, oh, ah, every day when they fly, blah, blah, blah. When they send us money, I say, do you think I fly because once I fly, money, they, money, money, they fall from heaven? I mean, they're, they're inside the plane, I go meet God, collect the money, put it inside the plane, then come down. He never called me and wish me Johnny Mercy. Mm. I don't know if you understand. Yeah. You're calling yeah. me to tell me, you see me on private jet. Oh, yes, I fly private. Fine, I understand, but hello? Mm. I don't see you where they ground better pass me than me where they up. I risk my life. If it happen anytime. Mm. You understand? So mm. people shouldn't be think. every time people think about success, they think, even the Ali Kodango told that they see so. You think he sleeps? In the mm. doubling hustle. You understand? So yeah. for me, I just feel if, if you're out there looking at successful people, the first thing you need to ask yourself is not, don't forget about the life they are living. Ask yourself what they must have gone or been through before getting to this level. There's, there's a lot of sacrifice. There's been a lot of pressure from family. You know, the first people go first begin to ask for too much in your family. They don't want yeah. what you they go through. At all. You understand? And then go figure yeah. out in front of them. I then go demand, in fact, they, 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 then they, they get, now then they feel say that as long as you be their family member, now you must buy that car, what did they look for? That yeah. house where they want to build, now you must build that for, you know, you nothing know, I say they start. But then, you now, have your own priorities. Cousin, 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 where senior cousin, where, now so in already, you know, what I would like, you don't know, it starts from there. So for me, if you're out there thinking it comes easy, no, no. Take your time. I mean, if it comes easy for you, I hear you, even uh, I don't know how David we say the fish and papa game on the guy they hustle. Yeah, you they hustle. Talk. Yeah. yeah, they hustle. You understand? Know Why not sit down and say, make I chop my papa money? What is he mm. doing? He follows they do the hustle. I swear. So it turns out to him as well. And thank you so much. Thank you. So Obi. Let, yeah, let's play a game because we need we need so um yeah. this game is I always created to uh, make sure that. You know, we we always have serious conversations, but after that serious conversation, <sighs> people need to get to know know mm -hmm. you. You know, there are things that you do every day that people will not mm -hmm. know. So, so that's why I created uh, we uh, created the game. So yeah, mm -hmm. this is okay. Peter's game. Ukwa or Abacha? Hey, Ukwa. 
Aqui no Uqua. Ei, hey, one time. Ei, hey, Uqua. É, Uqua. Hey. So, é, é bom, Fufu. Ha, é bom. In fact, Ubi, let me tell you about my Eba. Eh? I can wake up in the morning and ask them to bring Eba for me. I don't diet. Oh. Forget about this six pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know they diet. The only thing is, you know, go chop like me. Oh. Like and they dance for stage. And they burn them for stage. So, no try them. <laughs> you go far too. Okay, or hot soup or open nubu. Oh, for nubu. Or hot soup. In fact, they are making it now. I can take my phone to the kitchen now. That's what they are making. Or hot soup. Um, okay, moi moi or okba. Ha! The problem is, say, moi moi, I am at the normally, but okba, I know they see them anywhere until I go east. When they go airport, they look around. See me, they pass the cell, so okba. But because I know they okay. see them that much. Pami or beer? Ah, I'll take pami. I don't know. Yeah, I like. Tea, tea or coffee? You see, Ubi, tea or coffee, they're different. The tea where you talk of, when would they just what they call shy? How stuff they call them shy? And that yeah. way, how they do like this? When yeah. they give you bread. Yeah. Uh -huh. You see that way they do like this? Like yeah. The tea where me and no. Yeah. The coffee, I don't know the coffee where we both drink when they get up. <laughs> I know they send that one. The tea where you they talk of, now they lift on on, but. Yeah. That one. So you know Neymar. So now shy. Shy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, cold shower or hot shower? Ah, hot shower. What you carry cold do? I'm telling you. Juice or water? Water. It used to be juice before, but now it's water. SUV or sedan? SUV. Text message or phone call? I would say phone call because. Text message. That's why I hardly reply emails. I know the email person. So if you send me email, call me, send me, say, send me email. So I'll say, call. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nepalite or generator? Can okay, I make a do my calculation? Hmm. Nepalite. Up. Ah. I better go. Nepal. Ah. I better go somehow over Nepal. The generator, the service, when you add the service. And yeah, inside. and the diesel. Yeah. Uh, so, draw soup or uh, draw soup or vegetable soup? Draw soup. Cognac or whiskey? Cognac. Window or aisle seat? Aisle seat, please. Swimming or basketball? My body swim. Swim. I have both of them, but swimming is the one I do. Virtually every day. Because I use that. Don't get me wrong. I use that now. Because I don't do house. I know the two that perform scenes. At least I don't do house. So they use swimming. They, they burn them. No. Okay. Kazal or Ray-Ban glasses? I mean, Kazal is my type. You know, Kazal, they have that big they yeah. screen. I, everyone knows I wear big screen uh, yeah. uh, glasses for Kazal. Comb or hairbrush? Hey, brush. What are you comb do? Okada or keke? I never entered keke before, but I don't enter okada. Okada, yeah. Okay, so lastly, date night with madame or bedtime stories with the kids? Yeah, madame will go always there with the kids because, because my madame will choose with the kids too. So no more they stop to decide. No matter how we love each other, uh, my mother will not choose the kids over me. <laughs> Remember, she won't choose, she won't choose me over the kids. Sorry. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. Uh, the same vice versa too. So. Yeah. So you 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 we'll, go with we'll, the kids. We'll, yes, we will find our way later. <laughs> <laughs> we don't live our life. Our life yeah. now is for the kids. All right. So. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I really appreciate Thank bringing you, someone Ubi. as as, as nice big as you are to this platform. Thank you so much, bro. Appreciate Thank it. you. I see what you've done and I've been Thank watching you. it and uh, I'm happy I'm part of this. Bro, you should bring this on TV, bro. I love it. I will try. bring this on TV. If this okay. was the... Like, remember, I was saying something. I don't know if, if I, I said that to you. I was saying that to someone yesterday. I said, this lockdown, hmm, yeah. to, one thing everyone should learn from it is there's something you've always wanted to do. Now yeah. you have the time. Yeah. Now you have the time. Because mm. some of yours now are working. So that when, after the pandemic, they now, that thing they've worked on the ground, they'll push it out. That's what you're mm. doing. Yeah. This platform, look at so what much. it's creating for you. Now, next thing tomorrow, now seeing Ubi talk, Ubi Franklin talks on TV. 
to now say, ah, Ubi, this is oh, no minor. Eh, mm -mm. It was this period that made you yeah. create it, right? So yeah. the same way. So I mean, so, so me, you know, for myself. Okay, you know, wait. I've always created something during the pandemic. It was during the pandemic, you, sorry, during a, um, a lockdown like this, I've always created something. You know, remember there was Occupy Nigeria? Mm -hmm. I wasn't was here during, then, I was in the States. Yeah. So it was I during Occupy uh, Nigeria. It was during Occupy Nigeria. Yaya moved to come and stay in my house and we mm -hmm. bonded together and started working. So every time yes. there's something like this, I'm, there's something good that always happens to me. So I pray, yeah, I pray this comes I'm, out right. I'm not going to lie. The same thing has happened to me. I, I, every day I do research. I'm going, doing a lot. I, I won't lie to you. People say, ah, oh, man, I'm bored, but I'm, I don't think I am. Because I, I think I need this time. I'm doing a lot of research. I've done a lot of stuff that I can't even wait for the pandemic to end for me to bring it out. Yeah. You understand know what I'm saying? So this is the time to do that. So yeah. don't sit down because, well, that means some people are working. Some people say they are bored. Yeah. Better start something. Prepare yourself in something yeah. so that immediately after the pandemic, you go all out. Thank and people that start so saying, ah, when, when you learn this thing, when you learn this, I learned it this period. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ubi. God bless you.